that to cruise for like a build your own six pack thing. Mm -hmm. And they got I've never heard of them before, but ten ten barrel brewing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, I know them. They have a cucumber sour. Do they? So I got one. I yeah. haven't tried it yet, but I really I'm really excited. Make a fate has a Berliner Weiss fruit of lemon and citra hops. And it's oh. freaking amazing. Have you had it? The yeah. Berliner? Yeah. For lemon <laughs> All right, so we are going to Ren, Ren House Brewing. Brewing Company, and uh, neither of us have ever been there, so we're very excited about this. And it's our first on location episode, so we're gonna get a lot of weird looks. But uh, that's the way it is. The price. Uh, second, we did uh, illegal base. Yeah, but that wasn't really an episode. Uh, yeah, it was not. Is this the door? I don't know. So this is Ren House. Actually, it's Kylo Ren's house. Oh man! I hate you. I really do. Am I the worst? You are the absolute worst. I'm the worst. What are we getting? Uh, I want to try the, the mole stout. I want to try. I, I want to try the, the mole stout and the imperial porter. Um, So we moved. We moved because it was loud where we were, and we found. We didn't find any beanbags, but I got a beanbag for you. What are you talking about, Ben? Um, quarters. Quarters, yes. <laughs> so now, still working on our hibiscus, hibiscus thing. So the Kolsch is. Yep, 4.8%, 25 IBUs, so nothing, nothing outrageous. That is unlike any culture I've ever like smell. It's got more flavor than any Except the coffee culture. I haven't had a ton of culture. I feel like it almost tastes like coffee culture. But like less coffee, but it's still kind of like a, like a, like a, like a roasted flavor. Pretty damn 
damn good. So, I don't know what I said. What did I say? 4.8? 4. 4.8? 4.8? 4. 4. 4.7. 4.7. 4.7. Among Pulses. Among Pulses. And I'll have to agree. I mean, as just in general as a beer, um, four, yeah. Um, but what are we using to rate her? What unit of measurement? Uh, Deutschmarks. Deutschmarks. Haven't we used that before? I don't think so. You were like filming my like my fat holes. I don't know. What do you want to rate it, Ben? What do you want to rate it? Deutschmarks. Deutschmarks. So this, good chums, is the Who Hit John Imperial Porter, 13% porter, heftiest porter I've ever seen. Usually when they get to that point, they're stouts. So, <laughs> so I had a little a little taster of it earlier. Uh, I don't feel like that was enough to give me like a real, a real good uh, opinion on it. I guess would be the word opinion. Yeah. Opinion. Yeah. Preview. Yeah. What? Preview. Mm -hmm. I think you just spit in my beer. Yeah. <laughs> smells like chocolate and vanilla, coconut. Yeah, a lot of a lot of vanilla. A lot of vanilla. Wow. Out of vanilla, dark chocolate. <coughs> Ooh, now I want to try it. <laughs> oh, it's just... Which um, one is this? It's, it's, ca it's, it's kind of boozy because, you know, it's got that 13%. It's uh, Who Hit John. Really, really smooth. Really smooth in the mouth. Definitely smooth in the mouth. Lots of mouth. This is very good. Well done, Ben Benjamin. Oh, hey. Benjamin. Benjamin. Um, yeah, this is really nice. What do you rate it? Rating it. Um, Four point two three. Session IPAs that the the, uh, the aftertaste usually doesn't like linger for as long. So like this has like a definitely a hop forward like flavor, but it doesn't linger. So it, it's just like goes down smooth, and then you can keep drinking it like a session anything. So yeah, it's not bad at all. Uh, let's see what is this called again? This is the Weaver's Needle. So I'm gonna give this um, 
3.7 needles. I know that's kind of silly, but that's what I'm giving it. 3.7 needles for the Weaver's Needle Session IPA. Alright, so we are now moving on to the Big Daddy. This is the Olmec Mole Stout. So, Olmecs were the predecessors to the Aztecs in Mesoamerica. And this is this is actually a really small because this is all off the top of my head. I didn't even know because I'm Mexican, so that's how I know. So, the Olmecs were the predecessors to the Aztecs. And, um,. Uh, mole is like a, it's like a chocolate, uh, like a, it's, a, it's, it's a sauce they make for their, like we, we eat a lot of chicken, uh, but it can be made with any meat, but I have, I, my mom makes a lot of chicken mole, and it, it actually uses, uh, it's like chilies, but also, uh, chocolate in the sauce, and it's, it's absolutely amazing, like a lot of cream, it's a cream-based sauce, it's really, really good, chocolatey, kind of spicy, uh, sauce that they put on their meals. So this here is the Olmec, and this is a mole stout. Here you go. It's a little spicy in there. For sure. For sure. Just like a little spiciness with the chocolate aftertaste. Very good. I'm very excited about this beer. This is delicious. It's very tasty. It's very unique stout. It's like very different. Like the, the spicy, like the, the chili flavor with the chocolate, like gives it a really unique profile. So, that being said, Ben, what do you give this beer? I'd say that was a pretty successful uh, outing at uh, ye old Ren House. Ben? Yeah, for sure. They've got some good beers there. Town what do you What do you think uh, from a, a scale of one to five, Kylo Ren's? <laughs> what do you rate the brewery? The brewery itself. We're rating the breweries now. Okay. Um, um, Give them a 3.5. I mean, the, the the selection's not huge, but what they do have is really good. So, 3.5 Kylo Ren's. 3.5 Kylo Ren's. I'm gonna give it a 3.8 Kylo Ren's because I thought the beers were actually really tasty. Huh. Hi. No, the beers are really Hi. good. I did get, and I'm really excited about it. I got a uh, they call it a Crowler, 32 ounce can. That they make like on the spot a crowler of the uh because uh, it's like a growler but it's a can so therefore a crowler exactly i got a uh, crowler uh, of, the, uh, of, the, uh, uh, of the lady banks the uh gozo that we had it was very tasty so that's what i got so good times all right so uh yeah that was that was a successful day we're gonna go get some food uh, dude have i ever told you um about my job at the calendar factory? No. Yeah, I got fired when I took a couple days off. <laughs> I feel like I need to tell flatten. I feel like we need to tell a better joke. Uh yeah. I feel like that calendar one was really just like it was like Yeah, that was a big was old dud. That's the line that really of sucked. how shitty it was. Yeah. 
Dude, okay, so there's there's like a uh, one of those like sketchy ass carnival things going on down the street over there, and it's like one of those things like where there's one drunk guy running all the rides, and you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you have to like wait for him to get done with one before he can yeah, like before he can freaking ride. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, okay, so here's a better joke. Here's a better joke. Mm. So uh, so this so the sandwich walks into a bar. And he goes, he's like, hey, can I get a beer? And the bartender says, sorry, we don't serve food here. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. It's so funny. We don't serve food here. Do you get it, Ben? I feel like you don't even get it. <laughs> Why am I friends with you? <laughs> How have we lasted this long as friends? Like you're literally the worst. Okay, well that's our episode. I, what episode is this? Eight. Episode eight. Is it really? It is episode We're eight. Eight episodes. That's eight. Crazy. Fucking that's two months. We need people, guys. We need you to share this video. Please share. 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 share the video. Share. So we can get share. fame Look and at glory Look and at me. money. Look at me. Share. 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 You gotta do the the, the Trump hand. Share. No, please Share don't. Share the video. Please don't. No politics. This is how Italians share. The. This is all getting cut. It's out. a new. This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is all the worst. <laughs>